Hello out there, Love 52. You know, I do believe that almost everything I do, whether it's for someone, with someone, or, or with myself, I believe almost everything I do, love can be a part of it. And look, you don't have to agree with me. I've said it numerous times, I don't have to be right. Uh, I can be right to me, I don't have to be right to everybody else, or anybody else for that matter. But I believe that even, you know, especially, we have so many opportunities to exchange, spread, and give love in our communication. I see a lot of people and in their communication, there's all this, there's a lot of aggravation, agitation, irritation. You know, people just get so fixed on their agenda. They get fixed on being right. They just want to be heard, but they kind of don't do a good job in listening to other people. And you've heard me talk about before, and maybe you haven't, but I've, I've talked other times about the three C's of communication and how when we use those, we are loving, we are in the act of loving. You know, I've decided, agree, disagree, I've decided there's three types of conversations that we have. We either have a discussion, an argument, or a fight. Change the semantics, I don't care. Call it a debate instead of an argument, it doesn't matter to me what we call it. Our goal determines which one we're going to have. See, in a discussion, I believe my goal is to understand you, and if you are having a discussion too, your goal is to understand me. And we will be able to see the similarities and differences. There will not be any additional or un irrelevant um, emotions, tension and stuff. We won't be bringing that in because our goal is to understand each other. So we are concentrating on each other, trying to comprehend each other. And therefore, when we speak, we can, we can converse in a way that is pleasant, peaceful, and non-emotionally non driven. A discussion provides us the opportunity to exchange and share and spread love because the goal is about each other, not just me. You know, and so in a discussion, we can have differences and come to a resolution without the unnecessary tension that happens so oftentimes. You know, and so if my goal becomes, I want you to understand me, or I want to be heard, or I've got an agenda, and that's what I'm focused on, I'm not gonna concentrate. I'm not gonna care to comprehend what you have to say. And, and so it's gonna be all about me, and I will not be loving anybody in that moment because of the irrelevant, unnecessary added tension that's going to be brought in to this argument. And it's all based on the goal. And the goal of a fight is to be right. It's just more intense, you know. But if we can, well, I, I can't speak for anyone else. I can't speak for you. But my goal when I communicate with people is to understand them. And, and I think that if I do that, if I stick to that, then I can be spreading love, sharing love, giving love all the time. That's just what I think. And so try it out, see what happens. You know, have conversations. Even if you're on the same page with things, there might be minute little differences. Concentrate on the other person. Have the goal in your conversations to understand the other person and you'll have discussions and we can be spreading love in everything we do, according to me. That's just what I think. So spread love, love yourself, and practice understanding other people, understanding each other. Spread love. Bye.